What's up Broncos country, Luke Patterson, day number 14, boots on the ground for Mile High Huddle. It's just about in the books here at Centaur Health Training Center where the Denver Broncos just conducted a full padded practice. Now it's game week again here in the Mile High City as the Broncos travel to take on the San Francisco 49ers this weekend in California. But my biggest storyline of today, Ben DiNucci. He deserves the opportunity to back up quarterback Russell Wilson. He's outplayed Jared Stidham, quite honestly, all three weeks of football one-on-ones, seven-on-sevens, teams, all of camp, if we're going to be honest. Hell, Ben DiNucci's probably been the most quarterback consistent player in all of camp, if we're being honest. That doesn't mean Russell Wilson's not QB1. However, Ben DiNucci has established chemistry with Brandon Johnson, Jalen Virgil, Caden Davis, Albert O, Greg Dulcich. I mean, these players are coming together and grabbing a lot of nice balls from quarterback Ben DiNucci, who I would like to see move up the depth chart because Jarrett Stidham, he's just getting outplayed. Now, rookie wide receiver Marvin Mims Jr., he's also a little bit of a mystery. What are we going to see from number 83 this year? He's been dealing with dual hamstring injuries all of training camp, but he's been getting punt return and kick return reps, and he looks like a natural fit. I hope to see this guy out there against the Niners. I know Montreal Washington was returning against the Cardinals, but it would be really nice to see Marvin Mims Jr. get a little bit of a taste of special teams. He's in a deep wide receiver room. He's had a fantastic day today in one-on-one, seven-on-sevens, and team period. But Marvin Mims trying to figure out this rookie role for this wide receiver. This Luke Patterson boots on the ground for MHH saying stay tuned and locked on to milehighhuddle.com for all of your up-to-the-minute news, analysis, and Broncos coverage.